For this video, I'm going to switch over to a computer uh, that is not the Crow's Nest server. So a computer that does not have Crow's Nest on it. And what we're going to do is we're going to install Crow's Nest on this computer and we're going to connect the Crow's Nest client on this computer to the server. The first step is to run the exact same Crow's Nest setup.msi file that you used on the server. It needs to be the same uh, version of Crow's Nest and we can ensure that it is by running the same file that we did on the server. So we're going to locate that file, we're going to double click it to run, and then we'll click next in the wizard, we'll accept the terms and hit next. Then we're going to get this window, and we're going to install all of the client features. To do this, we're going to hit the drop down next to client, and I'm going to choose entire feature will be installed on local hard drive. So your screen should look like this if you're installing a client. Then I'll hit next, and install. When you get to this window, you can go ahead and check the Launch Crow's Nest button and hit Finish. This will pop up the Crow's Nest login screen. In the bottom right hand of this window, click the Connections button. Uh, in your Connections window, you'll probably just see one called Default. Uh, you won't have a, a list of names like I do. Uh, at any rate, uh, the steps will be the same. You're just going to right click anywhere in the white area and choose Add. You can give your connection a name. This technically could be anything. In most cases, I just uh, would call it your business name. And we'll just call this one, for this example, my crow's nest. And then we need to give it a server. Now the server needs to be the IP address of your actual crow's nest server that we set up in the previous videos. Um, so not the IP address of the machine we're on now, but the IP address of the crow's nest server. So I have noted what that was, and I'm going to put that in here uh, for mine. It's 192.168.0.150. And after the IP address, directly after, you're going to want to put a comma and then the number 13,000 because that was the port that we uh, opened. So we're going to connect on port 13,000. After we have this, uh, we're just going to leave the name Crow's Nest database the same because that's what we named our database uh, in the previous videos. We named it Crow's Nest. So we're just going to leave that the same. We're going to go ahead and hit save. You will need to enter a license key, and the license key uh, should have been provided to you after you purchase Crow's Nest. So go ahead and enter in your license key, and then hit the Connections button. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put uh, in the username of admin and the password of 1234. Every new database comes with one user, uh, username admin, password 1234. And then we're going to hit Login.